Hello everyone, we've recently upgraded our retractable landing gear system, which now features an integrated control unit GLCU that also includes LED control functionality to help new users better understand how to connect the aircraft receiver to the GLCU. I'll now walk you through the complete wiring process step by step. First, in the power down state, the unbound receiver will flash a red light rapidly. To bind, press and hold the bind button on the receiver. The receiver will then flash a red light slowly, indicating it's in binding mode. Once bound successfully, the receiver will show a solid green light. Next, let's introduce the GLCU control unit, which integrates retractable landing gear and lighting control. This is the LED extension cable, which has five wires, two for flashing lights, two for steady lights, and one spare. The control unit has three columns of ports for landing gear connections. Connect three wires. If your aircraft has three retractable landing gears, or two wires if it has to. Now, I've powered off and disconnected all wires. Let me explain the wiring positions for each labeled connector. Label A connects to the L port on the receiver for aileron control. Label E connects to the ELEV port for elevator control. Label T connects to the THRO port for throttle control. Label R connects to the rud port for rudder and steering control. Label G connects to the gear port for landing gear control. Label F connects to channel 6 for flap control with the orange wire facing up. Additionally, we've included Y cables for connecting the rudder, flaps, steering, and ailerons. This is the LED extension cable, which connects to the designated port on the GLCU control unit. Now, let's start wiring. Connect the label, A, aileron, wire using the Y cobble, to the L port on the receiver. Connect the label, E elevator wire, to the ELEV port. Connect the label, T throttle wire, to the THRO port. Connect the label R rudder wire using the Y cable to the RUDD port. Connect the retractable landing gear wires to the top left port on the control unit with the red wire facing up. Connect the LED extension cable to the of the control unit. 4-pin port at the bottom right. Use the 2-pin wires to choose between steady or flashing light modes based on your preference. Connect the label G wire from the GLCU control unit to the gear port on the receiver, with the white wire facing up. Connect the flap wire using the Y cable to channel 6. Once wiring is complete, power on the P47D aircraft, the receiver will flash a red light rapidly. Press and hold the bind button to enter slow flash mode. Then bind using the Blitz DT9 transmitter. A solid green light indicates successful binding. Finally, let's test the lighting function. The lights are currently in steady mode. To switch to flashing mode, simply reconnect the LED extension cable to the alternate wires. This allows you to freely choose between steady or flashing light modes.